one. So we are going to be working on the shaped card. This is the bottles up. So you can make a beer bottle, a wine bottle, and a champagne bottle. And it also comes with a set of stamps for you to use as well. So let's get started. So depending on what you're going to make, you um, will always need your base layer. So this is going to be your base for your beer bottle, your wine bottle, and your champagne. So you're going to need to take this and you are going to need a folded piece of cardstock. And you can do this from the top or the side. I have done it from the side, so you would just place it like that, put some tape on it, and run it through. You just need to make sure this is a little hanging over the fold, okay? And once you do that, it'll come out like this. And like I say, you can also do it from the top, but I did it from the side. So then now what you want to do is take your, um, cut out your layers. So I have a top layer, and then I've done the same thing for the back and this will completely cover that up. So what you want to do is place adhesive or tape um, over your, your card base. So I'm just gonna use some glue and I'm just gonna run this through and I am going to take my first layer and I'm going to lay that on, just line it up and just make sure it's on, okay? And I like to use glue because I can maneuver it around. All right, and then I'm going to do the same for the back side. And it will cover up this little section here that you can see. So put some adhesive here and the same thing. You just wanna get this on and line it up. Okay. And then you now have your front and back covered. So just give that a good press. So then now you're pretty much done. You just need to, um, what do you call it? You need to see here, I have a little gap. Make sure you have some glue here, sorry about that. So when you make sure you have some adhesive where that fold, that crease is, okay? So that can stick together. So then now all you have to do is decorate. So I'm going to let this dry and then we will decorate. So then now you're going to take any of the decorative pieces. So I have the cap for the beer and you're just going to go ahead and place these where you want them. So obviously the cap is going to go at the top of the beer bottle. So you're going to do it to the front and then you can also optional, but I'm going to do it to the back as well. Okay. So you don't have to decorate your back, but since this is a 360 degree card, I would like to decorate both sides. So I cut out two of each, um, each piece, okay? So whatever I'm doing to the front, I'm going to do to the back, okay? So then now what we need to do is, sorry, I'm trying to get this shaped up. Okay, so then now I have this little piece here for like my label and I'm just going to place this right here. And you can use, um, like I said, glue or adhesive and just place it wherever you want it. And like I said, what I'm doing to the front, I'm going to do to the side as well. And this is so easy. This has the stamps and the stamp that I'm going to be using today is, um, I think it says the um, coincidentally or something like that, the beers rhyme with cheers. So I cut out the shape here, this one here, and then you can um, uh, stamp it with one of the stamps. So then I'm just going to place that here. So yeah, it does. It says, it's no coincidence that beers rhymes with cheers. And then I'm just going to put this on this side. And you can use whatever colors that you like um, for your card base. And I'm just kind of looking on that side to kind of line it up. And there we go. How easy was that? And then you can do more decorating. There are some um, numbers in here that you can use if you want to stamp numbers um, 
to give um, represent a person's age or um, if you want to represent um, you know like a anniversary year or something like that so and then you can just stamp your message inside and there we go you have your shaped beer bottle so then now I want to work on the champagne bottle and it is going to be the same thing if you want to make it as a shaped stand-up card but I am actually going to be um, adhering mine to a card base so I've cut out the actual bottle shape and just one layer you do not need to fold a card or anything of that because I'm going to actually glue this on a card base now this is um, a long bottle so I'm using a 5 by 7 card base so the champagne bottle looks like this so that is this one here and you're just going to take it and you're going to place it on okay so I'm gonna build my bottle first before I hear it to my card so let me get my adhesive and just figure out where you want to place this so you're not putting too much glue and I'm gonna place this right here and then you want to test it always if you're going to put it on a card to make sure that it'll fit on your card. So this is perfect, okay? And then once I do that, you have obviously some of the decorative pieces here um, to label. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm gonna place this, I cut this out. So this is the little square here and I'm going to place this on it and I have a sentiment that I want to use and actually what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue this down so I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the back of here and the reason why I decided to go ahead and glue it down now is because a lot of my decorating um a lot of my decorating is going like it's better to just go ahead and get it adhered down so, um, and I'm going to be decorating also on the card as well as the bottle. So you can make this personalized. You can put a name on it. Um, you can put uh, whatever you like. Any occasion, any occasion. Um, let's see, so like this, right? Okay, so then I have a sentiment here that says congratulations and I'm just going to place that right there so this is a sticker and I have combined Anna Griffin with crafters companion on this one so make sure that's straight um, I'm using one of Anna's card bases and I am using her sentiments for this and here I have the little right here I have the um, what is this the little um, square thingy whatever <laughs> and I'm going to glue this on and then I am going to actually put a sentiment on here so I have another one of Anna's sentiments and I'm just going to place that here but I need to cut it down because it is a little larger um, than it is a lot larger than the little square there so like I say you can just make this your own so I cut around it and now I'm just going to place that on top okay and then I have some little hearts that I cut out so congratulations on your wedding day and then I am using crafters companion this is crafters companion this is like a pinkish color um, uh, glitter paper and then this rose gold paper is from Anna Griffin so that's why I say crafters companion and Anna together on this particular card and I cut out some little um, rose gold hearts so I thought those were pretty cute and then we have also to complete the card I am going to be using a um, I'm going to be using one of Anna's bows so I'm going to put that bow right there okay um so this is obviously congratulations on your wedding day so like I said these can be used for any occasion and I really like this set 
um, it's super cute. So I'm just gonna place my ribbon on and there we go. We have our bubbly rosé or whatever you wanna call it. So that's that one. And then we also have the wine bottle. So for the wine bottle, it's the same thing um, if you're going to do it on the fold or I am also going to place it on a card here. So it's the same base. And then this time you will be using this for your wine bottle. So when you cut it out, it will look like this. Okay, so then we would just glue that onto our wine bottle and you can use any colors or, you know, whatever you like for your bottles um as you can see i did the little um, rose bottle with the pink so for your wine you can use a deep green um maybe use a a purple color for like a, a dark um, deep red paper or purple paper for your um a uh, wine as well or you can do um maybe like a I don't, I don't know what tone to call it, but if you want to do like a Chardonnay or like a Pinot Grigio or something, so just to, um, you know, personalizing it. And so I decided to do this one on the card as well. I actually prefer it on the card than I do um, shaped. And that's just personal. It's just, I have big hands and I love large cards, so, um, that little bottle of beer and wine all that is like super skinny so there we go and that's my wine bottle and then i have here i cut out the um oval shape here so i'm going to place that on and you can use the oval or the square but i wanted you to see the square since i had already i mean sorry see the oval since i have already used the square twice and then again, I am, like I say, you have stamps and I stamped the first one. Um, it's no coincidence that beers rhymes with cheers. And there's more stamps here. Okay. So I'm using one of Anna's stamps because it just fits perfectly. And happy birthday to you. Okay. And then I am going to be using um, some balloons that I cut out from Crafters Companions, uh, balloon sentiment. So that's where these balloons came from. So I'm just gonna place that here. And then I have another one that I'm going to place here. So put one there and one there. And then I have my little streamers to go on it as well. And I just, sorry, I'm just trying to get this. I ran this through my little Xyron. And then you just put your little streamers. There we go. And then I have another balloon streamer here. And yeah, these are so cute. So I was, you see, um, once you get your pieces cut out, they're so easy and quick to put together. That's why I was able to do all three on camera for you and not, it um, not take so long and then I am going to place a bow on this one as well and you can use any of your bow um, dies if you have any you can make your bow with your ultimate or if you have a bow making machine and there we go happy birthday so what do you think I think these came out super cute and there you go you have one of each you have your champagne, your wine, and your beer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I like this super quick, easy card. And I thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.